Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com in Henderson, Nevada. Um, today we are going to do an overview of the GTEC MizRM. They recently sent us the MizRM to us. It's a two-color 3D printer that can do gradient and two-color printing. Really, really impressed by the gradient. I've done some prints with it, which I'll show you later. I will do an overview, some video of it printing, some opinions of it, some of the output we've done on it, and I'll um, go from there uh, after these messages on the channel. Uh, we'll continue on with the video. Thank you. Hello, this is David with TechNewsOn.com. This is going to be a little overview of the um, GTEC MizRM. It's a two-color 3D printer. It can do two-color with this print head, and it can do uh, gradient, my bad, with that print head, and then it comes with this other print head, this little feller, uh, that can do separated color. So it has a capability of doing, um, oops, both separated color and um, gradient. I'm most impressed so far by the gradient, though it does do a good job with the um, two-color printing. Uh, for what I do, I really like the uh, the uh, gradient. Uh, so this is the gradient print head that's in there right now. It does come with a um, can, uh, like a thumb knob here and a thumb knob there if you want to use that to tighten the belt, but so far it's been working fine without it. It does have a full color touch screen. Um, so if you push that it goes back. You can control lighting. There's a little light on the hot end. It, obviously since it's a two color printer there's two filament rolls on top. Um, and then um, it uses a very, very short Bowden tube. So I haven't used TPU on this, but with the short Bowden tube, there's a chance it could do that. But I've used so far PETG and PLA on it. It has the uh, self-leveling on it, even though I have leveled it once in a while. Uh, while in process, you can adjust the baby steps, which I've had some other printers where if it starts printing weird, it doesn't let you adjust it in process. This does have that, so you can go into um, options, baby step if you want to adjust the printing level from where it's printing on the print, uh, print bed. It is a magnetic removable print bed with a PI sheet. Uh, uses a micro USB um, um, card, micro, uh, my bad, micro SD, and then a USB as well. <coughs> so far, really impressed. Uh, we've used other products uh, out there. We have an Indy Cubic um, Cobra, which is decent. We have a Creality, which is decent an Ender 3 S1 Pro, excuse my mess, I was cleaning stuff out, but there's an Ender 3 S1 Pro I've been messing with that's running Clipper, which is decent. But this one I'm really impressed by. It's solid. It seems made well. It's got dual Z, um, dual Z nuts on it uh, on both sides, so that side and the other side. The touch screen's easy to read. Um, it doesn't have a little tray in front that some of the other printers have, but <laughs> eh, not a big deal. Uh, and so far, it's printing and printing rather well. I made this on it the other day. I made an Anubis, which I got from Thingiverse, in gradient color. Let me put the light on. Um, but I um, this is slice using the uh, easy light, easy print light. My bad. Um, software. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You see a little stringy, or it might be on its on the top. But I did make this on here. I learned how to do the. Uh, gradient but it looks cool if you just gradient a little bit like the, if you do it just right like the ears are yellow a uh, lighter blue a little white line here um, going down but it looks really cool um, when you're printing to it there's also the capability to do two color which I did mess with two color right here <laughs> this is a print my bad my allergies are killing me I did this print in two color using the two color print which I showed you earlier and it came out fairly decently, um, even made the eyes, around the eyes red, so it, it did a, a really decent job. This is a uh, articulated uh, shark that came with it. I think it's, yeah, it looks like a shark. It could be a whale, but I think it's a shark. Uh, and it did do a good job with that as well. Um, later, uh, in a little bit, we will show you some of the other prints that we've done on it in gradient mode. Also, maybe a video on how to do gradient mode. Uh, so far so good. It's printing. I have uh, light green, green and um, blue together uh, for this print. 
and we're printing an um, a um, Egyptian um, God, my brain's not working today. An Egyptian tower, like obelisk. My bad, yeah. Uh, Egyptian obelisk. First layer height seems pretty good. There's one little glitch right there, but other than that, it seems pretty decent. So every once in a while, you should always level it. I haven't leveled it in a bit. Um, but it self levels, but it, you can adjust the Z height and you can also adjust the baby step. So um, it's looking pretty decent. I'll come back to this video later, but just in case people get an idea of the printer, it's fairly quiet. It's in my home office, which is separated from my, the master bedroom, but it doesn't really bother me at night. It's fairly quiet. I'm using, I had some extra MakerBot filament PLA, it's just generic MakerBot filament. Laying around. I, can, I need some more filament to do some more reviews. I'll have to get some on payday. Um, if anybody needs filament review, please keep me in mind. Um, but this one is um, using that filament. I'm cooking it. Oh, I say cooking it. <coughs> my bad. Allergies are killing me today. Uh, it's Vegas. I was at a golf event on Friday in my, uh, for work, my full-time job. I work for a contractor, and my allergies are killing me. I got heat exhaustion too. It was like 100, like close to 100 degrees. So it was like 97 degrees and like 60% humidity, which is rare for Vegas, but it was because it's been raining. And man, the, neat, the heat knocked me for a loop. But this is printing at a bed temperature of 65 degrees, as you can see there, and a um, the uh, hot end temperature, extruder temperature of 215. At the moment, it's at 214. It's at, 100, at 25 millimeters per second. That's the only thing about two color any type of multicolor printing it's a bit slower because I printed um, something on there on the same printer in one color and it printed a lot faster so it's just, even in gradient it slows down because it has to switch or you know print from one uh, print head or extruder versus the other one so uh, but it is does a good job and uh, I really like it so far it's one of the best 3d printers that I've messed with uh, in a while Years ago, I had an XYZ printer that did two color, which was decent. But this one is really, uh, I'm very impressed so far. I mean, you can do two color and you do gradient. For what I do, I like the gradient because, like, uh, I'm getting older and I want to eventually do crafts and sell them on the weekends when I'm old and retired, probably 10 years now. I'm 54, so maybe in 10 years, uh, something to do. Um, and I also do make litho paints, which I've done for uh, friends and family. My wife likes. Back to the Future stuff, so I made litho paints for that. I'm thinking about making litho paints for, um, like, uh, either funeral homes or pet funeral homes or for people that want them made because I know how to do it and I have some software I got a bit ago to make them. But, uh, but I like the two color things. You can make vases. You can make, um, like, characters like the Anubis over there. You can make pyramids, which looks really cool. Greek kind of structures. All kinds of things look good in gradient because if you do it just right, um, Technically, it's two color, blue and green, but as it varies the colors, it's almost infinite colors because there's different levels of, of uh, gradient that you can apply to it. So it's not just blue and green, it's blue and shades mixed with green or red mixed with white. So you're able to do that. Plus, this printer has the capability to do, oops, my tripod just came loose, um, the stuff like that, which is two color, uh, which is cool as well. Even though I'm more of a gradient guy, but for those people that want to do two color, that's cool as well. Eventually, I want to test some other printers. Like, I don't know if GTEx is going to come out with a full color or if they're going to come out with a Core XY type printer. But if they do, I'm intrigued to test that out. <laughs> but for a bed type printer, as people call them bed slingers, I'm very impressed by this one. It's really solid. The touch screen is really easy to use. It's full color. Um, and it looks real good. So I'll be back after this print to show you how, how or maybe during it later on, to show you... Uh, how it's coming out but so far so good the only thing you really hear what's printing are the fans once I hear the click but I think it's the the filament on the uh, the bar up there or it could be the fact that it's switching colors so every once in a while I hear a little click but other than the click and the wind the, my bad the fan no, noise it sounds really good um, and really quiet and it works it works well I haven't really had any issues with it I've had it for a week or so but so far, I'm really impressed. Like I said, this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com. We'll be back later to see how this print came out, show you some more prints I made on it, and then uh, maybe a little wrap-up. And uh, we'll do some more videos. At, maybe we'll get some other film at the test review. Uh, I'll buy some on payday and see how this printer does with other, like maybe two different types of PETG. Right now, I'm using PLA. 
but maybe merging PETG. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this was made from um, straight up red and blue, as you can see by the red there. Um, it's a uh, clock spring 3D do uh, decahedron. I like clock spring 3D, I'm very impressed. But I, I, I did 100% um, red on the bottom, and then I had it shade up the top. I don't remember the exact percentage, but it might have been like 60 40 red. Uh, with blue, so it's maker bought red and maker bought blue, and it made a cool purple with a red base. And then on the the little um, lid, it actually did it to color because it started out in red on the bottom, and then I switched had it switched to purple or mixed blue and red later, which is really kind of cool because uh, if you do it just right, and you can count the layers. Uh, as you you know in the slicer, you can. Um, look which layer you're at when it switches to a different level and you can um, have it do gradient. You can do two color but I think for what I do like models and stuff like this um, it's really really cool because this came out really nice. Um, I really like um, Clock Spring 3D and Clock Spring 3D's uh, models. I have been a Patreon of his. This patio is a wee bit short so um, I'll go back. I also follow um, Cinderwing 3D and um, Flexi Factory. So those are my three mains. That I mess with their products and I'm a Patreon off and on when I have the money. Uh, but this came out real well on the Mizar M, so I'm rather impressed. It looks cool too. You could have done this in blue, like blue and yellow, and made it kind of merge to green. You could do it in any, you know, any colors. Red and yellow have it merged to orange, um, black and white merged to gray. That's pretty cool. Uh, what I'm interested in also is the using like Matter Hackers. Um, like the rainbow, <coughs> excuse me, rainbow allergy to kill me today. Rainbow type PLA where you can vary um, that maybe uh, with black or something where you can make certain layers plain black and have it do the multicolor the rest of the way. That'd be intriguing. Or maybe transparent and not transparent. So like transparent and bands and then maybe like 30 layers of solid color like black or red or white uh, and have it go vary from there. So I'll have to try that as well. But the output is real nice. Um, where was that little um, benchy? I did a, a red benchy on here, which took about, I think it took like, this isn't like a Core XY, so, but it's not bad in speed in single color. Oh, I made these on here too in single color. This didn't take very long, I think like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I think 30, 20, 30 minutes. But it's, uh, the detail is really solid. Um, it's a little stringy inside it, but it's rather small. This is a um, clock spring 3D canister I forgot which specific name it had but it did a really good job considering how tiny it is I made bigger ones as well I did one in um, gradient as well which I'll show you in the wrap later on uh, when we get back to it after it does this print but like I said uh, G Tech MizRM seems to work seems to work rather well and I really am impressed like I, I've done other reviews and those are decent but I would say this is the, one of the top um, what they call bed slinger 3D printers I've messed with. So I'm looking forward to other G G Tech reviews because if they're as good as this one, then that's pretty impressive. I don't know if they're ever going to come out with a Core XY, but that would be cool. Or maybe something full color. Um, you could always get a, a mosaic palette to work with it. Um, you know, multi-material, so that would be cool. But the two color is cool. I know they make a, a three color. I wouldn't mind messing with their three color because if the two color is this cool, I'm thinking the three color would be rather cool because you'd almost be able to do full color. I mean, technically, red, yellow, and blue should give you almost full color. You'll, you just need like a a white or a black to you know to fully be able to um, have full color. But if you had red, yellow, and blue, the primaries, um, you would be you could do pretty well with almost full color on a tricolor. So. So G Tech, I would love to try out other color printers. I like multicolor and 3D printing, especially if we're going to make crafts. We also help education and autism. So if we're going to do educational events, which we've done, with the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts or autism, then uh, you know you, you could have them uh, print these out, augment them with paint, uh, and go from there. Dave with TechNewsNo.com signing out. We'll be back with more of the video. Dave with TechNewsNo.com in my continuing video on the. GTEC Ms. RM. Uh, a day or so ago, I made this print of a, it looks like a Mesoamerican pyramid or maybe a Norse pyramid. Um, 
or castle pyramid as my daughter calls it, uh, in, in gradient. There's two colors, blue and green, but technically it's thousands of colors because it's shading between the two colors. Um, and then I uh, decided to make another one because it would be cool to have a set of them. Uh, and we also do some crafts and stuff. So I was going to sell them. I'd have two of them. But I wanted to see, show people what it looks like when it's actually printing it. So this one's been t taking about 30 hours. So each one took about 30 hours. They're pr printing fairly perfectly. There's been no issues, which is why I made two of them. Because the first one took like, I say, 33 hours. And this one's about the same uh, so far. And it's about 83% done. So it should be done maybe in three or four hours. Because uh, it's two color, it has to switch between the colors. And uh, I don't know if it switches so much as it does slow it down some compared to just one color printing. But it is cool because it can do multicolors. Uh, I showed earlier, I showed you guys the, uh, the Anubis and some other prints I did on it. And then uh, when this is done, uh, I'll show you this print, how it came out as well. I made one earlier and I wanted to see how reliably it would do two in a row without having any issues, without having to re-level it or anything. So the leveling is really, really solid. There is an option which came in the bag to put like a leveling little uh, handle on here. Right now I just have the screw and it's working fine. You can also put one on the end there so you can tighten it. But so far I haven't had any issue with the way it is and I've heard other people tell me the same thing. So you can have the little tightening screw or you can just use it the way it is. And so far I haven't had any issue with the belt being loose or anything like that. I only hear it clicking every once in a while. It could be because of the... Uh, I have a wire tie holding it to the top there. I'm not sure why I hear it click every once in a while because it's, it's in our, off our home office uh, near our master bedroom. So at night, I, it, the only thing you can hear is a little click and the fan's running. So it's fairly quiet. I'm going through uh, organizing. I'm doing some more collaboration. So I have to clean off that one desk there. So I'm trying to get all my cables and stuff put together. Uh, I'm working with some other vendors uh, as well as more with GTEC. So fairly high impressed with GTEC so far. I've used other products, and this one's been really reliable. It's really, really solid. I mean, it's like really solid metal here. It's a solid metal plate. It has a PI sheet. It's made well. And uh, dual extruder rods, like I said earlier. And I have two fairly large filament spools up there, and it seems to be working fine. So, uh, And then, like I said, yesterday, we were in the first phase of the video, the two colors cool. Um, but I really like the gradient because you can do neat things with it like that. And these and things like that. So you're making vases, you're making canisters, you're making anything that's artsy. Uh, you can do it in two color uh, and shade the color. So you can shade from any two colors. You can have two two color filaments, a shade or a two color like a rainbow filament, and then have like a one color so make a cool effect. So you could have like like rows on the on the uh, object a two color, and then have a, a line or two of an inch or two of one color. And then go back to the two color or merge it all together. So it's kind of unique and interesting. So I like the idea. And it does seem to work rather well. So I'm, I'm fairly highly impressed. And uh, I'll get back to it later when this print is done. And compare the two prints. See how uh, they look. And we'll go from there. Uh, we'll be back when this print is done. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com. These uh, Viking style, I guess they're like castle pyramids. I call them. Got my Thingiverse. Are done. I made two of them. I uh, made one the other day, and just made another one. To see how consistent the printer would print, and uh, the quality was would print, and it did, and it did rather well. So I made the second one too. So uh, overall, I'm very impressed with this printer. Actually, with the gradient mode, I'm um, gonna try more things, and I'll post some more things on YouTube and TikTok, TikTok under TechNewsZone.com. But uh, so far, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, if you're looking for an interesting printer that can do crafts. Uh, and also could do regular 3D printing as well, and it's made of good quality, I would definitely recommend the Miz RM. This is Dave with TechNewsZone.com, and we'll do some uh, tutorial videos in the future, but this is uh, a wrap-up of this one. We are impressed by it, the quality and the output, and what you could do with it, and I would definitely recommend the uh, Miz RM by GTEC to people that need a decent, rather decent printer that could do two color and gradient.